To make these beautiful palmiers, we usually depend on store-bought puff pastry sheets that may contain trans fat and preservatives. Only because of thinking of that tiresome job behind making those puff pastry sheets. But here is a beautiful recipe from which you can make amazing palmier cookies for your family without compromising our health. A simple method which will take very little time and effort than the usual method of folding and resting for several times. Times. For making these easy tasty palmiers, we need only three basic ingredients flour, milk and butter and salt and sugar to add taste and yeast as a leavening agent. So let's see how to make them in three simple steps. The first step is to prepare the pastry sheet. The second step is to shape and proof them and the third step is to bake the cookies. To prepare the dough, the first thing we need to do is to activate the dried yeast. Yeast always need a sweet and warm environment to bloom up. So here I have taken 260 milliliters of warm milk into which I've added 4 tablespoons of sugar and 1 teaspoon of active dry yeast. Stir them well and keep it aside for 5 to 6 minutes for the yeast to get activated. Now for the dry ingredients, let's add 1 fourth of a teaspoon of salt into 430 grams of plain flour. Here I have used unbleached flour. You can use any type of plain flour. And now all we have to do is to blend together the wet and the dry ingredients. And another good thing about this dough is that we don't need to knead the dough. Just blend them together until we get a homogeneous evenly hydrated dough. Now we don't need to proof the dough. Just leave it in the bowl for 5 to 6 minutes and then roll it into the shape of a log so that it is easy for us to divide them into 12 equal pieces. And then roll each piece of dough into a disc shape which is approximately 16 to 18 centimeters in diameter and less than 2 mm thickness and then we need to spread butter generously on the top of each disc and then place it onto a plastic film and take the next piece and repeat the same process and stack them onto the top of the previous one and repeat until we are done with 11 pieces and roll the 12th piece of dough and place it on the top of that. Now we got the butter layers but as the butter is very soft now we need to make them stiff by cooling them. So let's keep them in the freezer for 30 to 35 minutes. And now the butter is not very soft and it is pliable and it is now easy for us to work with the dough. So roll it into a long rectangle which is 5 mm in thickness. Here I am dividing this sheet into two equal portions and I'm going to bake them in two different methods that is the first batch without proofing and the second batch after proofing just uh, to show you the difference between palmiers that are made with and without proofing. So let's sprinkle some sugar on the top and uh, spread it evenly. The sugar I have used is a raw and refined sugar that's why the color is a little different. We can use any type of sugar to make palmiers. Now roll the sheet from both sides and until they meet in the middle and then slice them into 2 cm thick portions and place them onto a baking tray lined with a parchment paper and we are going to bake them without proofing. Bake at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and then 375 Fahrenheit for another 8 to 12 minutes. 
and now we are going to roll and slice the second batch just the same way as we did earlier and let them sit and puff up or let them proof for two hours wrap them with a plastic pin or with a damp cloth now our first batch of pamias is ready and you can see that they hold the shape of pamia cookies pretty well but they are heavy to feel and the layers are not very light and they are little hard to bite because they didn't proof well so now after two hours our second batch is ready to go into the oven Bake it at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and then 375 Fahrenheit for the next 8 to 12 minutes. Now they are ready and you can see that these palm ears are light and airy and they are buttery, they are flaky, they are crispy and you can see the inside is layered with caramelized sugar and they are soft and chewy in the middle. And these palm ears made with this easy homemade croissant dough is something different, something special than those made with those puff pastry sheets. And I really hope you found this palm ear recipe easy and helpful. And I hope you will try this lovely treat for your family. And I'm pretty sure your whole family would love it. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to share this easy palm ear recipe with your friends and family and for more simplified recipes please don't forget to subscribe this channel